I have been helping out at the Reserva Santa Elena in Monte Verde, in the mountainous regions of Costa Rica. This is the land of cloud forest, not just rainforest, cloud forest, which is really quite something. It's very special in this part of the world. forest is, is unique, it's, it's characterised by being particularly wet and humid and in the clouds pretty much all year round, as you can see. Uh, here in Monteverde it's because the trade winds come in from the Atlantic bringing moisture as they get up to the Tuleran mountain range, they condense and form clouds and here you have this ecosystem that you find here, the cloud forest. I think in Costa Rica houses about 5% of the world's biodiversity. In the cloud forest Monteverde house about 2.4% of that, I think, which just goes to show how much life there is here. It's not all wildlife. A large majority of it here is plant life, uh, trees, uh, plants, flowers, um, but there is also wildlife. And you can see in this myriad of biodiversity that there is so much green, so much life. And in the cloud forest, there is so much competition for space and for light that pretty much nearly every surface is covered in plants. So on trees, you'll find epiphytes, air plants, uh, mosses. You'll find tree ferns, which are very good at adapting, find a path, find a light. Um, I, I mean, it goes even beyond my knowledge. There's just so much, and I've been learning quite a lot about all the different plant life here, but it's, it, it really is astounding, and it's, the green is endless. One of the really interesting things that I've learned here is that there is a mix of primary and secondary forest here, but actually a lot of the trees that you see are probably a lot younger than you think that might be. Um, and in fact, some of these are probably only about 40 or 50 years old. Um, but obviously, as you can see, they're very impressive uh, and very tall already. And that's because plant life and tree life is uh, adapted here to make the most of the of the wet of the humidity and grow as quickly as possible whenever there is an opportunity to do so. So for example, when a tree falls and the clearing is made and more sunlight comes through, that's when you'll see a growth uh, resurgence of, of tree life and, and plant life just suddenly bloom. Interestingly, I was told that the Monte Verde Cloud Forest Reserve which is a different reserve in the same area, not far at all, probably about half an hour, 45 minutes by car or bus from the Santa Elena Reserve, uh, actually has quite a different feel to it. So I thought I'd come check it out to see it for myself. And you can actually see a difference. It feels a lot more open, a lot less dense in Monteverde Reserve. And apparently that's something to do with the different locations of both reserves, whereas Santa Elena is on the Caribbean side of the mountain range. Here in Monteverde, it's on the Pacific side. So the different climates, the different way the wind blows, creates different microclimates for the trees to grow here. And so here at the Santa Elena Cloud Forest Reserve, they do an amazing effort of conserving this really unique ecosystem, the cloud forest. They've got a range of trails that they manage and maintain, which you can walk through to appreciate what the cloud forest consists of. You can do some amazing guided hikes. You can also go walk around on your own as well and see what you can find.
One of their key programs as well is uh, conservation through education. They do a lot of work with, with schools, with environmental education, helping people understand what conservation is about, why cloud forest is so unique and why we need to protect and, and conserve these, these spaces. So I've been helping out at the Reserva Santa Elena for the last week or so, doing a bit of volunteering and helping where I can. I'm going to be doing a separate video on, on my time here and the work I've been doing and, and my homestay. But I wanted to do this video to talk more about the cloud forest, what it is, and how special it is, because this has been one of the most great things about my time here is being able to make the most of this beautiful reserve, walk the trails in my free time and just learn about this cloud forest. The other great thing about being here, or having been here for about two weeks in total, is that I've gotten to know the, the people who work here, the guides, people at reception, in the coffee shop, in the gift shop, and just getting to, to know them and seeing what they appreciate, what they love about the cloud forest and about working at the Reserva San Dailena. It's been really great getting to know them, and they've been really lovely, really helpful, and, and uh, making sure I speak uh, Spanish and not English. So I've been really helping me improve, so muchas gracias a ustedes, pura vida. Uh, it's been so far an absolutely wonderful experience here.